Hello, everyone. Welcome to the week before Thanksgiving. Welcome, if you're new to my channel, my name is Marieli Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is November 14th, 2023. Yes, there was school yesterday, Monday, November 13th, 2023, but I was at a training for our writing and ELA curriculum and I took copious notes and I sent it all to my team yesterday after the meeting. We were given some updates on the upcoming writing lessons that we're gonna be doing with our students, testing updates, as well as how to plan for intervention and use the iReady magnetic reading sources. So it was a very, very informational meeting and I'm so glad I was able to share that information with my team. I am working on creating a Canva infographic with some of the key takeaways from yesterday's meeting so once i complete that hopefully sometime this week i will show it to you so that you can get a gist of what we went over but today i came back with my students yesterday i left some sub plans so today when i had my students my block two which is my ell learners we went over the packet that i left for them to do and then we started on writing and this is what we were able to accomplish today so in my ELL or writing notebook, this is our prompt again. And then what I did, yes, the students have this in their reading books, the RWC, but I wanted them to keep it in their notebooks, my ELL students, so they have access to it as we start writing. So we went over source one, we annotated and listed the key skills that they were referring to as what students need in order to prepare for jobs in the future. Then we looked at the five that were mentioned here, and these three come from source three, which are mentioned down here. We didn't add initiative because initiative was already included in this chart right here. So for tomorrow, the students are going to create a plan for their writing, a very simple plan, so that they can get started and write their essay. Now for my ELL learners, I model, 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 and provide a lot of scaffolds to give them that opportunity to develop their ideas as best as they can. With my afternoon group today, which is my block one, my advanced learners, they were making sure that they were finishing their ELL reading assessment from Wonders. And as they were finishing, I was giving them feedback, mini data conferences, just to go over what they were doing. And also they were working on iReady Minutes. I did have students work up until the end of the day, so we didn't get to anything else in that particular group, but tomorrow is another day. And I'm exhausted. I just finished with my Minecraft club. Uh, the last student was picked up not too long ago. It is past six o'clock, so I'm gonna be grabbing my things. It's pitch black outside, I swear. It feels like it's nine or 10 o'clock at night, but it's not at six. But I'm gonna go ahead, go home, and let you know what we end up doing tomorrow. Hello everyone, welcome to the end of the day Thursday. I didn't get to vlog yesterday Wednesday because I just was not feeling well. I also don't have a break on Wednesdays, I just have lunch and yesterday I was having a migraine headache towards like around 11 and it was kind of hard to focus and I had my afternoon group and I just didn't want to do the writing lesson that I had because I just wasn't feeling well. I also didn't think the writing lesson was going to be engaging enough. So I had my afternoon group yesterday, which is my ELL students work on their Imagine Learning so that they can have their minutes for the week on Imagine Learning. And my block one, which is my advanced learners, yesterday morning I started with them and they were working on finishing the assessment getting feedback from me, doing their one-on-one -on -one data chats with them. So there wasn't much that we did that was new other than making sure that they were finishing some unfinished assignments. So that was basically the gist of yesterday. So it wasn't like anything brand new to share with you. Plus, because last week I was participating in STEM night, yesterday the principal allowed us to leave after the students were dismissed. And because Wednesday was an early release day, the students left at 1.50, so around 2.10, after I did my dismissal duties, I was allowed to leave. And I was caught in torrential downpour. Yesterday, the rain was really bad. 
it's like we had like a system over us and it felt like a tropical storm. That's what happened yesterday. So today in the morning, I started with my block two, which is my ELL learners. We started by working on the fun activity that I planned for the writing lesson that I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you right now. So as you may recall, the current argumentative writing prompt that we're working on is what skills the students need to learn to prepare them for future jobs. Across the three sources, there are about 13 different skills. Some of them were put together, but I separated them for this activity. And these are the cards that I created. So I created these cards using icons on PowerPoint and of course my color laser printer. And what I did is I passed one of these out to each student. I had multiple sets of these, so I make sure that I passed out doubles. And after I passed out the cards, I had the students get up and find their partner and talk about why that skill was important for students to learn in order to get jobs for the future. So I incorporated movement and I incorporated collaborative talking. And then after that, the students presented what they shared with each other to the whole class. So we did like a jigsaw, but then we put it all together at the end, which is a Chris strategy. And then the students ended up working under independent activity. Students got a white sheet of paper and were told to either fold it in half if they were choosing two skills, fold it in thirds if they were choosing three, fold it into fourths if they were choosing four skills. So after we discussed the 13 different skills, students had to choose two, three or four skills that they were going to further explore and eventually write in their essays. Here is one example that I created for students who folded their paper in half for two of the skills. So they had to write the skill, draw an image that went along with what that skill represented and find text evidence that talked about that skill or supported that skill. Here is the version that is folded into thirds. I taught the students how to fold it this way so that both sides kind of look the same and then fold it in like a brochure so that they can have their thirds. And the same thing, they wrote their skill on the top, a symbol and the evidence that supported that skill. And here it is with four different skills. So students were working on that, they will finish tomorrow and from that, they will probably either work in another group activity where they will work in groups to work on one bucket for one skill and then come up with a, the evidence for, that supports that skill and a topic sentence that will start that paragraph or I can have them work individually. I haven't decided yet, but I may lean to the group work so that they can work together on that particular bucketing activity that will then eventually lead them to the topic sentence, which will then lead them to a full written paragraph. So we'll see how that works. Again, I love adding the collaborative talk, the movement and the sharing out. I just like to add that because it adds a little bit of flexibility and novelty to the lesson, which makes it more engaging and exciting for the students and for me as well. Because if I was gonna be bored with the lesson, they were definitely gonna be bored with the lesson. So I needed to spice it up and add a little bit of entertainment to it. So I'm taking it a little bit further tomorrow so to help them complete these evidence foldables so I created this from the idea that I saw on Monday's PD that I went to the iReady representative had us do an activity at the beginning where she gave us like a tic-tac-toe board or a choice board and one paper had the answers and the other paper had the questions and we had to find someone like if we had a paper with the answers we had to find someone that had the questions and see how the questions and the answers matched so I took that idea and I created this for tomorrow. So this is what I call my future skills matching activity. So on one sheet, there is either evidence or elaboration that is connected to a skill or skill set, skill group, a group of skills from the sources that we read. As you can see, each box is numbered on this page and they have symbols. The symbols represent the three different sources and the skills that the sources talked about. So this one is the evidence and elaboration sheet as the directions say on top. And this one is the skills sheet. So as you can see, the light bulb represents critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork, flexible thinking, initiatives, effective writing and communication. And those are listed three. And then the other one for the technology, the computer is science, math and technology. 
which again, three of them are listed on the sheet. And the one with the helping hands is ideas, creativity, initiative, and the wish to help others. There's three of those. So there are two pieces of evidence for each of those and one piece of elaboration. So the students have to match. So they look at this and they're like, okay, which skill does that refer to? They'll circle the symbol that represents that skill. And then the people that have the skills paper will then write the number on that little empty circle. So that is the activity that I hope once they complete this, it will give them a better idea on how to complete this assignment, which of course will lead them to the bucketing, the evidence strategy and writing the paragraph. So that is what I have to share for today, Thursday. I will see you tomorrow for Friday, which after Friday is a whole week off for Thanksgiving break. I'm so excited. We're almost there. See you in a few seconds. Hello everyone, we have made it to the end of the day on Friday and I'm so happy that we had such a great week this week. This morning was a very, very sad because one of our students found out he was leaving today. The mom saw me while we were doing the fire drill outside and let me know that due to a family emergency, they had to go to another state. So she withdrew him and she didn't know that it was going to be you know a quick process to withdraw a student so my co-teacher and i had to come back up after the fire drill and give him the news we gave him some time to say goodbye i was in tears we were all in tears and we wrote really nice positive messages to him and i let him know that he was always going to be my student and i wished him the very very best so that's how the day started and then as the day continued this morning the students started their day by doing a smart start with the thankful activity that i'm going to show you right now so here are my daily slides and this was the slide with the directions to the activity and i gave students this blank sheet of paper i had created this uh, a while ago but basically in the center says my thankful top 10 and they have sections all around where students can write what they're thankful for and they could draw a quick picture and if they had time they can finish coloring so once the students got their papers when they came in the papers were already under desk i was able to go over this direction slide and then show them this example that i happened to make yesterday on my ipad I had another example that I had made a couple of years ago as a photo, but I actually wanted a digital picture that I can use in the future. So I wrote the words of different things that I was thankful for in no particular order. And obviously these are not ev every single thing that I'm thankful for, but I did put the top 10 things and then I drew pictures and I colored it. The students had a great time working on it and making sure that they added all the things that they were thankful for. And then for my block one this morning, they had time to share. So everyone that wanted to share their thankful top 10 were able to do so on the document camera or at their seats if they wanted to. And they really loved doing that. And I'm so thankful that we were able to take some time to practice some gratitude. And they did a great job and I'm very happy that they were able to do that. After that activity, we worked on a writing activity which had them matching the skill to the evidence or elaboration, which I'm sure I gave you a glimpse of yesterday, but the students worked on it. Let me go ahead and show you that activity once more. So students either got this sheet with the yellow border, which were all the skills that we have been reading about in our writing argumentative prompt. And other students got this one with the blue border that included all of the different evidence and or elaboration that went with those skills as you can see these have symbols because what students needed to do was they needed to get up and find someone that had the opposite sheet so that they can work together and match these evidence and elaboration with the skill that corresponds to them so we did review the answers and this is how they were supposed to do it if they had the skills sheet they needed to write the number of the evidence or elaboration that went with that skill set and if they had the evidence and elaboration paper they had to circle the symbol that represented the skill that went with that evidence and elaboration which is why on this page the skills have different symbols above them 
The students enjoyed the activity and I actually ended up creating another similar activity for when we come back from break on the vocabulary words that we'll be using for the new unit that will be starting on the 27th of November. Because next week is Thanksgiving and we have a whole week off for fall break and we're very excited. So that means that we're not coming back to school until November 27th and I have just finished all my lesson plans for that week. They're posted by my computer. I have all my copies ready to go. And I ended up creating a couple of different activities for that unit or that week of that unit that I'll show you when I get back from break. The other thing that happened was that my block two this afternoon worked on the same thankful activity, but they earned their Minecraft playtime. Yesterday, my block one earned their Minecraft playtime. And today we played with my block two at the end of the day and we had a lot of fun. The whole class was able to join the same world that I created and projected on the Promethean and we were having a wonderful time. One thing that I forgot to mention yesterday being November 16th was when Starbucks was giving away the free plastic holiday cup. Every time you went to a Starbucks and got a drink or purchase, I ended up getting three cups yesterday. <laughs> They're all at home, but I'm so glad that I did and they're amazing. Anyway, that's all that I have to share for this week before Thanksgiving break. And I hope you enjoy coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.